In Agua Dulce, California, the Haywood family trains and handles horses for film productions. One day at the Haywood Ranch, small metallic objects violently fall from the sky. One of these objects, a nickel, ends up killing Otis Haywood Sr. Six months later, his children, Emerald M. Haywood and a depressed Otis O.J. Haywood Jr., are fired from a set after their horse, Lucky, reacts violently to its own reflection in a chrome ball utilized for visual effects. To raise money, O.J. has been selling some of the Haywood horses to Ricky Jupe Park, who operates a western theme park called Jupiter's Claim. Jupe exploits his past traumatic experience as a child actor on the set of a family sitcom that co-starred a chimpanzee named Gordy. During filming of an episode, Gordy reacted violently to the sound of popping balloons and attacked at least two of his human co-stars, but ultimately left Jupe completely unharmed before being fatally shot by police. One night, the Haywoods noticed their electricity fluctuating and their horses violently reacting to an unknown presence. They discover an unidentified flying object, UFO, that has been taking their horses and spitting out the inorganic matter, which OJ concludes to have caused their father's death. The siblings decide to document and sell evidence of the UFO's existence and recruit electronic store employee Angel Torres to set up surveillance cameras. The UFO arrives and abducts a horse as well as devouring a metal training horse M stole from Jupiter's claim for use as a decoy. The next day, M attempts to recruit famed cinematographer Antlers Holst to help them record the UFO. Holst declines, telling him that chasing wealth and fame is a dream you will never wake up from. Angel then arrives and reveals that a cloud in the valley never moves. OJ suspects this is the UFO's hiding place before theorizing, based on the UFO's flight patterns, that it isn't a ship at all. Jupe introduces a live show in Jupiter's claim where he plans to use Lucky as bait to lure out the UFO. For months, Jupe has been offering the UFO the Haywood's horses in secret to gain its trust before revealing it in a show. The UFO arrives earlier than expected, enraged and having been injured from trying to consume the metal horse and devours Jupe and everyone in attendance for the show, including his family and staff, ultimately leaving only Lucky alive. OJ, attempting to retrieve Lucky, confirms his theory that the UFO is actually a territorial, predatory organism. After the creature showers the Haywood household with the detritus and regurgitated remains of the Jupiter's claim crowd, OJ realizes that it only attacks those who look directly at it. He devises a plan to record it. M and Angel are hesitant until M receives a call from Holst, who now agrees to help. OJ names the organism Jean Jacket after a horse that M as a child was promised to train. To circumvent Jean Jacket's effect of shutting down all electronics nearby, Holst brings a hand-cranked IMAX film camera. The group sets up a field of electrically powered tube man props to deduce its location in the sky. However, a TMZ paparazzo trespasses onto the field and is thrown from his electric motorcycle when it shuts down near Jean Jacket, which devours him. Though Holst captures footage of Jean Jacket, his obsession with the impossible shot results in him being devoured alongside his camera, forcing the remaining three to flee. Angel survives an attack from Jean Jacket by being wrapped in a tarp and barbed wire, causing the creature to unfurl into a new, larger form. OJ intentionally looks directly at Jean Jacket, allowing him to use the motorcycle to rush to Jupiter's claim. There, she untethers the park's large helium balloon mascot of Jupe, the large eyes of which attract Jean Jacket's ire. Jean Jacket attempts to feed on the balloon while M uses an attraction's analog camera to photograph Jean Jacket as it feeds. Its attempt to eat the perceived threat results in the balloon exploding, destroying Jean Jacket. With the picture as proof of the creature's existence and reporters arriving nearby, M sees an unharmed OJ and Lucky standing outside of Jupiter's claim.